here we have. I want to do a barn with a silo. So I'm looking at pictures of barns with silos. Oh, kind of like this one right here. Because <clears throat> the jar I have picked out to do this with is to make the barn part of it is round not not long like most of these are going to to look yeah so i want to make a fairy house barn with a silo next to it kind of like this one here And it looks like most of the silos have like rounded tops because I was thinking of a pointy top. But yeah, most of them have rounded tops, rounded tops on them. So that was good that I looked at that. Well, actually, that's kind of the top. I don't believe it ever said without making. But like I said, most of them have rounded tops. Oh, here's a good one. Oh, yeah, like this one. Look at this one up. Yeah, this will be a perfect model. Plenty of little windows around it. So when I put a light in it, it'll shine through. I don't think I'm going to have a light in the silo, though, just in the barn. Actually, I was thinking about having it where, uh, where there were like maybe horse heads sticking out and shutters on the sides. Do they do barns like that? Can you see a picture of a barn with horse heads sticking out? Well, that one's got a lot of windows next to it. I guess a horse head could stick out of it. Hmm. And that one's got a lot of sides. I guess, well, like I said, my jar is going to be around. So I'm going to have to go oh, make a pretty old restaurant. Oh, I like that little thing on the top. Ooh, maybe I'll make a little thingy on the top too. That would be pretty with the, if I made that open. And uh, so the light could come through the top of it. Yeah. And then also to have that window up at the top. But I like those barn doors better. So maybe I'll do a combination. Combination. Anyway, next fairy house is going to be a barn with a silo. As soon as I finish my apple tree fairy house, which has to be put on hold because I ran out of clay. And since we're in the We Can't Go Shop, I ordered it from Amazon and it won't be here for a couple of days. Oh well, but next project, Fairy House Barn with Silo. pictures of horses with their heads sticking out of the barn window. Mm -hmm. That one right there. And that's cute. I like the idea of having shutters. <laughs> He's cute. Yeah, I'm going to have to have at least one horse head sticking out of the window of my barn fairy house with a silo. That's pretty. Yep, yep. We're going to have to have a fairy horse. Maybe I should make it a unicorn. Ooh, would that be not cool? Do fairies have unicorns? Let me know.
Okay, while well, my uh, apple tree fairy house is drying and waiting to get painted, I'm going to start on my barn and silo fairy house. Uh, this is the jar that I'm going to be using for the barn. This is uh, some shampoo bottle that's going to be the silo. I've already kind of started shaping my dome top on it and we'll be making the roof. Saw another lady that posted when I was a little disappointed with the amount of cracking that I had using the uh, Crayola air dry clay on the other one. So I may try a little different on doing this. I may try using a little more aluminum foil and doing a method that I saw a lady that does uh, uses the the glue and uh, paper towels and kind of makes like a paper stuff so anyway I'm going to go ahead and, and kind of work on getting my my shape together a, a little better need to find something to put it on of course I want to leave the, the bottom of the jar open so that uh, can put a candle in it for tea, a little tea light. I, I like to use a little battery operated tea light candle. So still watching what's going on around the world and trying to stay at home and be good. Okay I have them all glued down. It, it fit remarkably perfect in my little hole there to put it down in in the silo. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I'm still going to need to fix that, that a little bit, that a little bit, but, uh, yeah, I plan on putting a little weather vane up here on the top of it, and, uh, going to try to make barn doors that, that look like they can be opened, so, yeah, we'll do some more a little later, because it's getting hot out here, and I don't want to turn the air conditioner on, so, I think it's nap time. See you later. Stay safe, everybody. Okay, I'm back in the house. So, oh, Preston's fixing to talk. Guess we need to hear what he has to say. Be back in a minute. Yeah, I moved back in the house. It was just too hot outside. And plus, you know, we've got to still stay up on this virus and stay at home and stay in and, and all that good stuff at all but i wanted to update you on uh my fairy house barn that i brought in <clears throat> i wanted to show you uh how i was doing it a little different than i did the uh, fairy house apple tree because i had so much cracking in the air dry dried clay I'm trying to do more of my uh, textures, like these are, these are, will be like shutters on the window of the barn, and these are the, will be the barn doors. I hadn't totally all finished them yet. Uh, I've got some wire that. I'm going to make some texture down the roof to make it look like the old tin, tin roof. So I had to bring my hot glue gun inside. It's making a puddle. It's ready for me to use. But yeah, I'm going to try to use these other things. And then it'll, it'll all be covered with masking tape. As you can see, I've pretty much already covered my uh, bottle that I'm using for the silo with masking tape. I do want to put a little little door down here. It looks like most of the silos have a little door. Maybe I'll put this its door to this side so it won't be too close to that. You know, and I'm going to cover my nice big cardboard stand. Still got the hole left to put a tea light candle in, a, a battery tea light candle in. And anyway, if I do it like this and I, and I use the cardboard and, and the wire and some other things to kind of get my texture, then hopefully I won't have to put the air dry clay as heavy 
on it as I did on that because that that apple tree tree house is heavy it's very heavy it, it feels almost like a, a big heavy ceramic piece so hopefully this will cut down on the on the having to put the uh, the texture on quite as is heavy I did find I did pick up it at a thrift store these little plates too oh, those are cute that have different designs that you can you can do this almost looks like grass here because I'll need something since I have so much cardboard here I'm gonna need something to go around around it to look like grass but you can mash your your air dry clay down on this to get the design design in it and that was cool that was a cool find at, at a thrift store I don't know how they knew I needed something like that but yeah yeah we might use that for for the grass around here but that's that's what I wanted to show you I'm gonna continue uh, putting my my wire wire and masking tape all over everything and I still need to put because these up here I put plastic in them and uh, I need to put plastic in there and building it up cover it with the masking tape and then I'll be ready to do the air dry how so back to what watching mr. president on what he's saying about our our terrible pandemic of 2020 Okay, I just about got my barn almost totally covered with the masking tape. I am thinking I'm going to do a little different on this. I'm, I think I'm going to go more with like a paper mache than the clay to see if I can keep it a little lighter weight than the heavy clay. I will have some clay items sitting here air drying, which I've watched a bunch of tutorials. This will be uh, on how to get this air dry clay to dry without the cracks. So in there is my horse's head that's going to be poking out one of the barn windows not really dry it at all it's been sitting here uh, for a day now but they say to put this stuff in a bag so it doesn't dry quite so fast to get the cracking I'm also thinking about making a dog that's going to be laying by the side of the uh, the barn so the dog too will be made out of the air dry clay Okay, I do have my masking tape all over it. Debating when I get ready to paint if I should want to paint up in the inside. Maybe so, so it'll be more uniform. But this is so much, so far, so much lighter weight than uh, my uh, apple tree that had so much cracking on it and stuff. So, I'm going to be using white glue and some tissue paper and cover it with some layers of paper. I decided before I start the paper mache to add a little aluminum foil down this way for uh, some texture. This is the, the window that the horse will be poking out of so I want to leave a spot right in here because I am going to make a little doggy out of the air dry clay but yeah I'm hoping I'm going to be able to wrap that paper mache around this aluminum foil to give it a, a little more textured and grassy looking like. Okay, I'm going to work on my barn a little today. Uh, I've got my last layer of air dry clay, but boy, as you can see, it, it's really got a cracking problem. Versus down here, where I added a little 
joy compound. So, I don't know if this is working or not, but I'm going to try some joint compound mixed with white glue and a little water to thin it up and see if I can fix these friggin' cracks. I'm not liking the cracks. Well, the uh, joint compound seems to have filled the cracks in. Uh, I'll let it dry. It dries super fast. As you can tell from my hands, it's all dry and crumbly. I do have a feeling that I'm going to have to lightly sand it and all, but fingers crossed that was a good tip to, to keep the, uh, to fix the cracks. That was a super big crack there, so I may want to put a little more in it after it dries. But like I said, it's drying like super fast. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Maybe this will be the key to taking care of some of the cracks. Okay, <clears throat> I've moved the barn out into the shop to get ready to paint it. Uh... Yeah, I used, I still see a little bit of cracking in it. I used the, uh, the joint compound on it. I let it dry. I did have to sand it. This is not so neat looking as I would like. And then I got gesso on it, but uh, frankly, right now, I don't know what to do. My next project will be the pumpkin patch house. And on the pumpkin patch house, I <laughs> I may just wind up doing paper mache. I do have some paper soaking uh, to to actually make paper clay, and I'll see how it works because this still I just do not like the cracking in it. I've got, I've got a coat of gesso over this too. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know how to make it stop cracking. Hmm. And I really don't like this rough look on it. But it is an old rugged barn with the horse and the dog in it and the dirty windows. I need to hire somebody that does windows. I'm having a hard time trying to get my windows clean. <laughs> but I guess the, the rough look... But I've got it out here in the shop to go ahead and start painting on it, on it, and uh, I'll keep doing experiments on how to stop that darn friggin' cracking in it. But yeah, gonna get it started and get it painted. Okay, been painting on the barn, the red barn. I just I hate the fact that. My old hands have had, got arthritis in them and don't, don't paint very straight lines, no matter how hard. I even had my magnifying glasses on and I'm still not getting really, really straight lines. Of course, a lot of this in here is going to be scraped off because it's part of, part of the windows. And uh, once I'm done, I'm going to put like a, a stainish stain over it to kind of help dull it down and give it that rusted old barn barn look uh and i did get some matte varnish so i don't because i didn't want to use the shiny shiny varnish on it like i did on the uh the apple trees so yeah it, it's it's getting there it's getting there well so i'm almost done with all my painting, <clears throat> I was a little disappointed. I had ordered like a a barn red from Amazon, which kind of that color, and that's what it showed up on my screen. 
I know computer screens kind of show different colors, but still, that was kind of a, a rusty red, and they called it crimson. And so I ordered it, and when it got here, it was not a rusty red. <laughs> this is crimson. Not, not exactly the red I wanted for my barn red. So what I wound up doing is I went ahead and I used my regular red because it's quite not as bright as that crimson, uh, uh, crimson was. It's just called a true red. And I made a, a wash out of uh, burnt umber. Actually, I don't know where I put it. Burnt, burnt umber. Yeah, there we go. Which is kind of a, a brownish brown, reddish brown. And I made a wash and put it on the roof and on the side to give it some texture. And on the red. Which gave it a, a bit of a more rustic look than that bright crimson so what I'm doing now is I put one coat of varnish on it but I'm fixing to add a second coat to be sure it's it's covered really good I did order a matte varnish which I'm much more pleased with for this rustic barn than uh than the the really shiny bright that I used on uh, the apple tree fairy house. So, yeah, just about done. Gonna get my second coat of varnish on it. Well, here it is. Here's the barn all finished up. This is actually the front side of it. One side. The back side where you see the horsey visiting with the Dalmatian dog that is sleeping. Artist signed by Bryn, 2020, 2020. The silo with its little door and cobblestone walkway. Okay, now I'm going to try to make it dark in here so we can see how it looks with the, in my pocket, there it is, battery operated tea light candle. So I did, I did put felt on the bottom of it. So it'll sit nice and smooth. Let me block off the lights. Here we are on the front side with the tea light candle in it. You see it in there, down in there, flickering. I love the ones that flicker, give off a glow all the way to the top. Here's the side window with the glow and down in there and even up, up at the top on the the weather vane steeple you can see it flickering and through the horse's window and there's the 
Dalmatian in the glow of the tea light battery operated candle. So this was my fairy house number three. All finished. It was done with air dry clay and some of the the uh, or the joint compound to try to smooth it out slowed the drying process down trying to keep the cracks out of it but I still wound up with some cracks so I'm now working on the pumpkin house fairy the pumpkin fairy house and it's being done in paper clay that I made up. So hopefully that video will be coming up pretty soon. I'm still open on my eBay store 24-7. Come on over and visit me. SB55 Shoppy. S-H-O-P-P-E. We'll get you there. You can do a dot com. It'll take you over to my eBay store where I have lots of collectibles of uh, missing going to the auctions. They're still not going on yet. So hopefully if we get through get through this month, maybe maybe next month. Fingers crossed. So if you like my little crafty videos on what I'm doing while we're under a stay at home order. Yeah, right. Like I've been staying home. <laughs> <laughs> please look down in the links in the descriptions tell me what you think about my fairy houses and uh there's also a link to my ebay store down there and my facebook page so come on and join in we'll have fun we'll get through this crisis things will get back to normal of course when they do i probably won't have time to make fairy houses but if you enjoyed them i'm really enjoying them I actually have ordered me some new sculpting tools. So, yeah, I may continue doing this instead of crocheting. But I like crocheting too. But anyway, everybody, please be safe. My prayers go with everyone worldwide over. We're all humans. We're all facing this crisis. We'll get through it. With the help of God, we will get through it. Talk to you later.